Never was enough till I met you. Got the real thing, found the real one. You can tell the world, keep the fake love. Cause I've been brand new since I woke up. Hey. Yeah. Yesterday I met a man. He knew everywhere I He asked if we could be best friends. Took his hand, he took a chance. He showed me a different way and gave me a brand new name. Now I'll never be the same since I took his hand and took a chance. He didn't know how lost I was, but knew I couldn't measure up. Then you came around and showed me.
Father God, we welcome you to this place, Lord, your Holy Spirit, fill this place, God. Lord, I pray that as we worship you, as we, as we cry out to you, as we sing your name over this place, God, Lord, I pray that you just bring your Holy Spirit and fill this place, feel it so heavy on us today, that today is the day that we, that we raise our hands from the back of the seat, gripping it, because we know we want to say yes to you, God. We raise our hands and we say yes to you, we surrender to you. We open up our hands and say, take it, God. Take whatever it is that I have that I shouldn't have. Take whatever it is in my life that shouldn't be there, God. And I pray that you just take it and then throw it to the deepest depths of the ocean. Lord, I pray that for this service today. I pray that for the people that are here, God. Lord, I pray that as we sing hallelujah, as we, as we sing your name, as we speak it in this place, God, that lives get changed, God. That hearts get changed, that minds get changed, that whatever was brought into this place, God, we can speak your name over it. And it has to flee. God, we sing that today. Jesus in this place. Yes. You are the overcomer. You are the conqueror. So God, we speak your name. God of Jacob, great I am. King of angels. Yeah. 
as you, as you enter this place, God. Lord, I pray you, you do a work in hearts today. You do a work in the, in the deepest depths of our souls today. God, that little thing that we keep hiding, that little thing that we keep, that we keep pushing back to the back of our minds, saying no one knows, no one, no one will, will, will worry about it, no one cares about that issue, that problem, whatever it is, man, God cares. God cares. God knows. God sees. So, man, give it up today. Give it up today. And whatever it is that you're fighting, whatever it is that battle is that you're facing, man, I, I, I'm, so, I'm so thankful for the wife that I have because my wife will just speak the name of Jesus over every opportunity, over everything that she has going on in her life. And that's what we should be doing. Every problem, every situation, whether it be little or huge, we should be speaking the name of Jesus. And it's so, it's so evident that it's so, it's so meaningful and so, so much in her life that my kids are starting to do it. There was a night that my son, Kinley, my oldest one, was feeling so sick. He was getting ready to have a, 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 a stomach issue, a stomach bug that he was going through. And he was fighting it. And he was so upset. And he was so, he was so sad. He was so hurt. And he, he couldn't do anything. But we heard him in his room. And he's saying, Jesus. Help me, Jesus, take this from me. Jesus, I need you. Even just a stomach flu, even just something as simple as that, we need to be speaking Jesus over our life. Amen? Amen. No matter what the problem is, we speak Jesus over cancer. We speak Jesus over our family. We speak Jesus over our jobs. We speak Jesus in our lives. Amen? Amen.
I want you to take this time and pray. I want to pray over this congregation. I want to pray over this church. I want to pray over families. I want you to take this time to pray. Amen. You can do it in your spots. You can do it wherever you want to. But this is the time where we come together as, as a family of God and we pray to our Heavenly Father for, for healing, for power, for, for peace, for grace, whatever it is. We take this time to pray this morning.
went to Spring Mill this weekend, and we went on a cave tour. It was awesome. A lot of fun. The scariest part and most fun part is when we stopped about 500 feet in, when there's no light one way and no light the other way. Couldn't see a thing. They said, we're going to shut the lights off. We're going to shut the boat lights off. We're going to turn the flashlights off. We're going to shut everything off. So you can see what it's like in total darkness. Total darkness. You can't see your hand in front of your face. There are people that have been, to those of you who know what I'm talking about, the second, the very second that they flipped the light off, it was like everything was visible. No matter how dark it was in that spot, you couldn't see your hand. The second a light was let in, you could see the entire day. It was amazing. It reminds me that when I'm in a dark time, when I have place, and I'm completely surrounded by darkness of depression, darkness of fear, whatever it is, the second that I speak the name of Jesus, the second that I let that light in, that total darkness disappears. Darkness has no comparison, it has no might against the light of Jesus Christ, amen? So today we are going to let that light in. I want you to get excited. I want you to sing, we're going to sing Let That Light In. It's like opening up a shutter and you wake up immediately. Today we need to wake up, amen? We need to wake up today, yes.